Hi friends, this is Leela. Welcome to my channel Leela Web Dev. We are learning about the CSS grid layout structure. We have developed a simple uh, 2 by 3 grid layout. Now let's try to see. So here I want I want to show you some of the units that are uh, available in this one. For example, let's say that here you are having grid template rows, right? So 150 pixel by 150 pixel we are having. So that means the row is each one is having height of 150 pixel and another row is also is having height of 150 pixel instead of mentioning it here the css grid in the css grid we have a function that is nothing but repeat so repeat function so here instead of mentioning here 150 pixel 150 pixel so two times i want to have 150 pixel like this i can mention it like this so why why what is the use of this one is for example let's say that i want to have five rows of 150 pixel each so that means i need to do 150 pixel 150 pixel 150 pixel so like this i need to repeat it five times right so one two three four five five times i need to repeat it so this could create this could create problem so instead of having like this so css provides us with a function that is nothing but repeat function and here how many times i need to repeat so right now we have only two rows right two and each one should be 150 pixel so this is nothing but so 150 pixel 150 pixel these are the two rows we need to have so here we will be able to get 150 pixel 150 pixel like this so not only with this one we can also have <coughs> for the template columns also we can also mention the same way so here we are having three 150 pixels right so i can mention it something like repeat 3 comma 150 pixel so that means three times it will be repeated so if you try to see the output then also we can able to see the same output so the repeat function helps us to repeat the number of rows or the number of columns how many times it needs to be repeated so fine that's okay we understood about the repeat function now here you know that the container is having a total width of 1000 pixel so we have mentioned we have given the container it's a total width of 150 uh, sorry 1000 pixel now if you try to see here so each row each box each grid cell is taking 150 pixel each why because 150 pixel height and 150 pixel width if you try to see here each item it is having 150 by 150 fine so just like the flex grow one how you will be giving in the flex so in the grid also we have in a special unit that is nothing but fr that is nothing but fraction unit so for example let's say that two columns should be should be, should be having 150 pixel and the third column so which is third column this one it needs to take the remaining total space okay the remaining total space if it wants to take it means you can mention it something like one fr so one fr is nothing but a fraction unit so it will take the remaining total space here like this so like this you can mention it now if you want you can also mention in a such a way that so here you can remove it here and you can mention it 150 pixel and also here you can mention it 1 fr now if you try to see here the output how it will look like is so here the 1 fr means so here this one will take 150 pixel okay so this one will take 150 pixel and the remaining space will be shared between these two so 1fr 1fr means equally these two the space will be shifted between these two so this is the 1fr so for example let's say that if i mention in such a way that so it should have the all the columns should take equal means repeat 3 comma 1fr so if i mention this one as repeat 3 comma 1fr means then everything will be equally the space will be equally distributed all the grid cells all the grid cells will take the space equally distributed so now another one what i want to tell you is for example let's say that <coughs> let's say that uh, for example if you want uh, here i will take 50 percent first one and here i will repeat it with the 2fr <coughs> i will repeat it with the 2fr now if you see this one so what will happen here so if i mention it with the 50 percent means so here this one will take exactly 50 percent so that is nothing but 
50 percent means out of this total container 1000 pixel the first one will take 500 pixel see 500 by 150 and the remaining space will be divided along with the gap so along with the gap so the remaining space will be distributed for example if i give the grid gap of around 80 pixel still the 50 percent here the percentage will be still it will be 500 pixel only but the fr unit will be the space will be distributed along with the grid gap so that is the main thing you need to understand it so that is the one what i want to tell you so here you also you can mention it something like one fr and two fr like this and let's make it as 30 pixel this one so if you mention it like this so this one will be 500 pixel first column and the second column will be the space will be distributed between the remaining space will be distributed by these two grid cells so this is one thing which you need to understand so not only the fr and also the pixels and all those things percentages also fits in the grid cell so if you want to mention the percentages also you can mention it without any problem those also works without any problem and also another thing is for example let's say that here the container width wise we are trying to check it right for example let's say that the con the height is there for example let's say that the height is there height is around 500 pixel our container height okay so if you try to see here the container height is 500 pixel so here we are having the remaining empty space right so the two rows it needs to take the equally the height it should take so what i can do here instead of mentioning 150 pixel here i can mention it 1 fr now what it will try to do the space will be equally distributed for these two so if you try to see here see the space the height is equally distributed between these two so this is how the fraction unit is very helpful for us for designing the grid layout system so now whenever you are trying to do the grid layout system <coughs> you can use this one fr and also the repeat is also very much useful so whenever you are having this one so you can mention it like this so for example let's say that when whenever you want something like uh, 1 fr 1 fr and 2 fr 2 fr like this if you try to mention it means so then what will happen here if you see the output so this one is 1 and these two will be divided the space will be divided between these two for example if i give this one as 3 fr then what will happen see it will be the total space will be divided into 1 plus 3 4 5 6 three parts will be given to this one and remaining two parts will be taken by this and one part like this it will be happening so fr is the fraction unit is a <coughs> very convenient one which is very helpful for the designing of this for, uh, for the for the for the space allocation for the template columns and also for the template rows and the grid gap so this is nothing but the gap will be given between these two so the the <coughs> the gap will be allocated between those two so for example if you try to see here the width if you want if you want to see here so this one is around 156.67 right right so this one will be exactly double and this one will be exactly 313.33 so this one will be double and this one will be three times so exactly it will be like this for example let's say that if you have given one fr and one fr like this let's see how what will happen so exactly it will be thousand pixel right so this one is 313.33 313 so like this it will try to divide it now if i try to mention it something like one fr one fr and two fr means so exactly double it will be so for example if you try if you see the output so this one is 235 right and the violet one is 235 into 2470 so like this the width will be divided so this is all about this a fraction unit and also the repeat function in the css grid hope you understood about this uh, repeat function and also the fraction unit if you have any doubts or any suggestions please post the comments below to this video and if you like this video please do support me by subscribing to my channel thank you